Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video we're going to be going over the Spray and Pray Breaker Shotgun. A shotgun that comes even later in the war bond than the regular Breaker Shotgun. And it must be much more powerful because of that, right? So let's put the game on the hardest difficulty. That's number one difficulty, which means you will be number one if you can complete this difficulty and let's go kill a hive guard. So here we are working on the swarm that comes alongside the hive guard and it only takes like eight shots per enemy, but luckily we have a massive 32 in the magazine. Now the hive guard's armor on his head is so heavy that we're gonna have to take out his legs. And you can see we took out the two front legs and he's walking around like a disabled dog from one of those sad commercials. So let's go ahead and take out the third leg and see if we can do even more damage to him. And amazing, that kills him. See, this gun can even kill a hive guard. And that number one difficulty was pretty tough, you know, a lot of those enemies around the hive guard were taking eight shots per magazine, when I feel like on a lower difficulty they'll only take one. So let's go ahead and lower the difficulty to level four and break some eggs. Three egg yolks, separated from the white. All right, guys, we broke those eggs. We're running away from some of the enemy because they're about to overrun us. Let's go ahead and blow up this incendiary tank to get some of them on fire so we can make an escape. Um, it seems like the heavy armor on this tank is too strong. I don't think that there's a way we can break it. What? Okay, what the hell? That bug must have a heavy armor piercing melee. We definitely don't want to fight him. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, guys, fun aside, in all seriousness, the problem with this gun is obviously the armor piercing rating. I found a spot where some of these more armored medium bugs spawn where they have medium armor on the front and you usually got to get behind them because they have light armor on the back. And when I shoot them in their backs behind the medium armor, they, this gun can't even pierce that. You can pretty much only shoot their legs off, which I guess legs on bugs have no armor. And what's hilarious to me is when you shoot these bugs in the front, they usually go into that sort of defensive mode where they crouch because they know all the bullets are gonna bounce off of them. But I guess they can sense the little amount of armor pierce on this gun because when I'm shooting them in the front, they don't even go into defensive mode. Even these bugs do not respect the spray and pray shotgun and we can obviously easily take them out with our secondary which again is hilarious to me just how sad the armor pierce is on the breaker spray and pray so to add something constructive to this conversation i wanted to say i wish they would just remove the sort of tags for light armor medium armor heavy armor pierce and just add the slider bar uh, for how much piercing that different stuff has you know on guns it says one of those tags but if i show you guys two different grenades they actually have a bar and you can see the impact grenade is rated four for penetration and a grenade like the incendiary is rated three for penetration. This bar would be much more helpful because I even posted a video about the slugger shotgun the other day and how it's underrated because it lists that it has light armor pierce but if you use it in the game it's actually much closer to medium. Now I think under the engine of the game the slugger might not even be a true medium armor piercing but it clearly has a higher penetration bonus compared to some of the light armor piercing guns. But maybe it's not as high as some of the medium armor pierce. Maybe the rating is just somewhere in the middle, but who knows, it might just be a medium armor pierce and the tag is just wrong. But that's the main reason I'd rather see a penetration slider like on the grenades, you know, instead of tags, which seem to just not be true and it just varies from gun to gun. Like on the spray and pray, it says light armor pierce, but obviously it doesn't really pierce armor at all. We have all the normal light piercing ones that pretty much just work normally, and then you take a gun like the Slugger, which says normal, but works more like a medium. So I think a penetration, uh, like bone, like bar, like how much penetration does it have? One, two, three, four, five, up to 10, would be much better for the game because then you would have a more accurate thoughts on the gun before you go and use it. And in, in the case of a gun like the Slugger, which more, works more like a medium, maybe it wouldn't have been so underrated on all these other YouTube videos if they had an idea that, oh, you know, the Slugger might not be a true medium armor pierce, but it's much more than a light armor pierce, and you can actually use it on more of the medium-based enemies. But instead, most people just thought it was a worse Punisher, because if you just look at the card bonus, 
That is what you would be led to believe. So let me know what you guys think about this gun, the breaker spray and pray in the comment section down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.